hello guys hope you are doing well today we are going to do the last uh, load balancing algorithm in the implicit rule which is the uh, spillover threshold based load balancing algorithm so what happens what is the need of this load balancing algorithm uh, as per our topology if we are having two links okay so there is one link who is uh, charging us on the monthly uh, fixed cost rate uh, fixed, fixed cost value okay no matter what how much of bandwidth you, you are utilizing okay how much mb you are utilizing how much mb you are requiring okay your, for your operations it will have a uh, like a fixed cost on monthly basis but there is an another link okay there is an another isp who is uh, you know costing us on the uh, uh, based on the usage okay of the bandwidth how much bandwidth we are utilizing okay per day okay or monthly basis so for for it the price will vary okay so we don't want unnecessarily you know all the traffic to go via this link okay because they are not giving us a specific you know uh, amount of uh, they are not charging us a specific amount of money the if we are over utilizing them then the you know the uh, they can charge us more money we want all our traffic to go via this link only but was we can set a threshold over this link okay if the bandwidth is exceed like you know uh, like exceeding a specific kind of threshold then the link then the traffic should automatically you know uh, get fail over to the secondary link so that is possible with the help of this implicit load balancing algorithm rule which is spill over threshold what we can do this is our van one ingress what do you mean by ingress ingress means traffic is coming from the isp isp from the internet to the inside zone of the firewall which means from port to we are receiving the traffic and it is going in our lan segment and what do you mean by egress egress means the traffic is exiting from the port towards the internet okay port to towards the internet similarly for port 3 okay so this is the basic difference for ingress and egress traffic so what i want okay uh, since this is a lab you know lab based topology we cannot you know uh, specify any kind of high amount of threshold so say i will say i want my threshold of for example say 3 gbps ingress okay on van 1 for ingress and as well egress Okay, so what I'm telling to the SD1 uh, algorithm that if the traffic on this link is exceeding 3, G 3 kbps, whether it is ingress or egress, okay, then the failover should happen to the secondary link, which is the VAN2, port 3, okay. I'll click on OK. Now I will show you the CLI configuration. You guys can see set play spillover threshold. This is for egress, okay, which is 3 kbps, and this is for ingress. So you can configure it via CLI as well and for port 3 we haven't defined any kind of threshold okay uh, now let's do one thing since I have uh, what I will do I will generate a repeat ping so that the traffic will exceed 3 kbps on this interface and the all traffic will go via this interface okay okay now you guys can see if i come over here port 2 what is the value of port 2 30.1.1.1 okay mm -hmm. 
it is utilizing 30.1.1.1 okay sometimes using it is using 40.1.1 as well okay what i will do i will as this user as well Okay, I think failover is already happening. So let's keep the threshold more higher. Okay, I will go in HD van. I will go in rules. Okay. I will say for example 4 kbps. Okay. Because I can see the users are going via 40. Dot, it should not happen. Okay. Primarily the link should be 30.1.1 only. Similarly, I will go over here. See, it is usually utilizing 30.1.1.1. Okay. So, this is the actual concept. Okay. The link should primarily utilize 30.1.1.1, which is this part. As of now, it has not exceeded the threshold. If you guys see in the SD van, it is still using 2.62 kbps, 3.61 kbps. Okay. Now let's do one thing. I will execute a trace route. It is utilizing 30.1.1.2. It will primarily it is utilizing 30.1.1.2 because the threshold has not yet exceeded. Okay, the primary path is this one. You guys can see now. What we will do? We will allow other users as well. Okay. So that the usage will get spillover. So it will, you know, increase the bandwidth. Let's wait for some time. The upload speed will be as soon as it crosses 4 kbps. Okay, the link will automatically fill over to the secondary link. You guys can see the port 3 is getting utilized now. Okay. See, 4402 kbps, okay, it has crossed the threshold. Now, if any users come, okay, any new user is coming, it will directly go at this link, 40.1.1.2, because the threshold for this link has exceeded. You guys can see. It's it's like 4 kbps, okay? So that's the reason the traffic is going via 4.2 kbps, which is the port 3 link, okay? So this is how you can, you know, plan your network. You can optimize your 
van if you are having two links okay one is costing you on monthly basis which is a fixed rate and another one is costing you costing you on the basis of uses uses of usage of bandwidth okay so you don't want n necessarily traffic should go at this link you can configure a threshold over here like this like this how many how much kbps or you can convert gb to kbps as well okay and add that value over here and you can definitely uh, do the failover similarly if you are having second case like port 3 is having a specific uh, cost for monthly basis then you can do vice versa as well okay you can configure a specific threshold over here all traffic will go from this link and this link will get utilized by which is van 1 when the threshold is getting cost okay now let's check this session yeah the old users are still using the 40.1.1 or 30.1.1 only let's do one thing Let me initiate a new traffic. Now let's see from where it is there go. Traffic is going. Even I'm learning with you guys. <laughs> okay, let me check for 1.1.1. .1 .1. Okay. Okay. Sometimes it is using 30.1.1.1. .1 okay, but sometimes it is going 40. Let's see the latest traffic. Okay. Majority time it is using 40. Okay, you guys can see but some users are still going because that link is has totally not crossed this threshold. Yeah. You guys can do one thing, you can connect a you know VPC or any other WinPC of Windows Server and you can you know browse YouTube or any kind of other website we can or you can download anything then the threshold will be automatically crossed okay here it is not totally crossing the threshold because all i can do is generate a ping traffic from over here okay it is not even crossing the threshold but then also the link is get the second link is getting utilized okay so you can do one thing you can connect a pc you can connect or any l3 device make it as an l2 you can configure a static ip and give a repeat count of of increasing the mtu size Okay, you can do that, but here it is not possible because this is a, you know, these are small VPCs. So thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos.